We talk football and current events Sitting and chatting with the very best guest We're two Scottish boys and we're loving death So if you like witty banter Check the former number one podcast on iTunes Sitting and chatting Hello and welcome back to Sit and Chat Podcast. I'm Liam White. I'm Jimmy Allen. And I'm the guest. Somehow, third toast, Dylan Hart. <laughs> I can Wait. see the way this is going. Start, <laughs> no, 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 we're leaving it. This will be, this will be the tone to set for the rest That's of That's your this. host with the most. Yeah, I mean, I think we're all, are we all drinking or just me and Jamie to get through this? Coca-Cola, <laughs> Tango bottle, Coca-Cola glass. I won't give a damn. It's not too late to get an R, yes. <laughs> I think it is. But nah, in all seriousness, Dylan, we do appreciate you coming back. Well, coming into the Call of Duty. This is the best time to be here. <laughs> is it? I'm not, I'm not sure you'll be saying that a wee bit. Oh, no, I'll, I'll love it. Just a few awkward silences as we try and work stuff out. Okay, so the reason why things might be a bit different this week is um, I stupidly or brilliantly, we'll know by the end of this, have decided, you know, we'll flip this, we'll flip, you know, the format for one week, you know, since we're having Dylan back on and, you know, we know everything about him already. Don't need a chat mm-hmm. about his life anymore. <laughs> oh, I always chat about when I'm on a summer and Christmas dinner, like Christmas and Christmas dinner, and that's so, you know. I know, Still well, that one. yeah, I know. I mean, you know, at least you're here now when the sun's actually out, which is a nice change. But, um, no, nah, we're doing things a bit differently today. Now, there's a famous game show uh, out there called Would I Lie to You? And this is nothing like that for legal reasons, BBC. This is um, Would You Lie to would Me? I, would I tell the truth to you? Would I t- <laughs> what, what are you packing here, Jamie? You get a final vote. I don't think we go going to be in it. just... Would I? Would I? Would I? Pick it the lies. Would I? Spot the lie. There you go. Would AYE? Would I lie to you? Yeah, I lie. Scottish way, yeah. Aye. Scottish edition. So, yeah, no, there is a paddle show called Would I Lie to You, which we're taking broad inspiration from for this week. almost like Yeah. Now, time to... Peel back the curtain for a second to your viewers. We've uh, we've enlisted the help of you know guests, former guests of the show, James, to you know help us prepare with the questions for this week. And uh, we really do appreciate his help. It is good. It is strange though, considering like well, okay, we have had to prepare stuff, but it's very different compared to normal. So the way this is going to work is we're going to go around one at a time. Hopefully for three each, but you know, it might be more, it might be less, depending on how the game's going. How long? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, one person's going to go, they're going to read out a broad statement, then the other two are going to have to try and guess if that person is telling the lie or the truth by the way they tell the story. We've tried to make it as broad as possible, but I mean, I've known Jamie now for nearly 12 years and <laughs> Dylan speaks to Jamie mm-hmm. every day, so... It's... Worked with him for two years straight, so, you know, I don't know him at all. Yeah, no. Nah, What's so... your name again? <laughs> I've got this. I've got this cunt is hilarious. So, you're either, <laughs> about to, you're either about to watch a fucking disaster unfold... Oh, well, listen about... to it, because uh, we're on Spotify and iTunes. Uh, uh, I, 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 I was gonna say <laughs> <laughs> we're on Spotify, Google Play, <coughs> and Anchor. Google Play doesn't we exist anchor. anymore. We love Google anchor. Play doesn't exist anymore. It's all YouTube yeah, music now. Uh, you <laughs> shut up, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking uh, thought host my arse. On second thoughts, uh, this part's cut out. So welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so I'll start us off rolling. Obviously, I'm going to start with a statement, you then try and guess, and we'll just go from there. So. Look at his eyes, Jimmy. Just like this. <laughs> you're, so, you're so fucking. Why a granddad on fucking Skype chat? <laughs> Where's your mic? Hold, hold on, let me tell the lie now. Uh, wait a second. I'm just reading out the lies, guys. Come on. Um... Like Mrs. Weavers here. <laughs> right. Four days ago, I met ex James Bond, Timothy Dalton. Where? Bridge of Allen, for those that don't know, it's um, 
that's near Sterling. Is that actually part of Sterling? Who was it you met? Timothy Dalton. Ex James Bond. Don't be searching stuff up, Jamie. This isn't no, your I, job. I just, no, I need to see if you go on his Twitter and you find out he was an LA. I thought yesterday. you liked Bond. I know. I just need to see him. <laughs> no, I'm going to go to Twitter and see if he's in there. <laughs> <laughs> so you met in Bridge- Why were you in Bridge of Arm? So on a walk. And the reason why I didn't mention to you that I met him was specifically for this podcast. I was like, it's perfect timing. What did you talk about? Okay, I say we met. I'm slightly bending the truth here to start with. He walked by, I sort of clocked it was him, and then I said, hi, nice to meet you. And that was it, basically. What did he say back? Just say, hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> he was with his missus and some other guy. Some other guy? Right, sure, they're breaking cover jobs. Oof, I don't know about this. <laughs> don't know about this at all. Sorry, Timothy. What was... Do you have a rough idea of what he was wearing? He was wearing, like, a sort of overcoat sort of thing, like a trench coat. Like James Bond? Like James yeah. Bond? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was in a fucking tuxedo in time. The, the 90s nah. James Bond? <laughs> <laughs> nah, he was in, um, like, an overcoat sort of thing, um, wearing, like, sort of dark jeans. See, that's... He's an old guy now. So, that's believable. Were they, were they tighter jeans? I'll, put, cut. I'll, I'll be completely honest. I didn't look too much. All right, all right. I mean, that's fair enough. Yeah, I just if you had to answer. I want to put you in a bit of blast here, uh, Liam. And if I was to tell you you didn't have a wife, what would you what would you respond? I presumed it was his wife. Just has Mrs. next to him. Or our lassie next to him. So, so what you're saying... What, what order were they? Was it guy, girl, guy? Or was it guy, guy, girl? Was he was standing guy, beside girl, her? guy, guy. Oh, that's convenient, that one is. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was she wearing? <laughs> Did you drink a wee bit earlier, mate? He seemed to be sweating here, Liam. <laughs> she well, was in, like, a kind of, like, puffy coat style thing. Nah, sweat. nah, outrageous. It was sunny yesterday. No, four oh, days ago. Four days ago. It's four been sunny ago. for a while. It's been sunny, ah, it's been sunny for a while. For four days. She, where, where were they? Where were they? What do you mean? Do you have an idea of where they were coming from? Where, or where they were going? Um, you know, like if you're walking back towards the university along the main road, so not like <laughs> actually in the centre of Bridge of Allen, but just outside it. Left or right <laughs> of the street? Left. Left. So in the hotel side? Yeah. And were they near the hotel or further down? I mean, they could have been coming from that way, but they weren't like right beside it. Closer to the bank or? Um, no, closer to the hotel. Right. And were you going back towards the uni or were you coming this way? I was going towards the uni. And they were going towards the uni as well? No, no, they are coming back. Mm. Right, in towards the centre of the jam, I was walking past them. Right, okay. I fucking hate this. <laughs> 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 too sad, too, Liam, just look at your camera. Oh, wait, he's, so, he's twitching, he's twitching. I, I, I'm he's pretty like, certain here. So, wait, hold on. Are we are just tell you right now what, I, what we think, I. I mean, if you're, if you're saying... I, I think you I've, heard, I've heard enough. I've heard enough. I've heard enough. Wait, I'm, I'm, right. heard you got, enough. You want three to one and me and him both say? No, no, you can go one at a time and see what right, you well, think. I'm certain that's a lie. Same I was thinking why. Mm-hmm. Do you just want to know? There's no yes. way. <laughs> it's true. It's no true. way. Total bullshit. It's true. <laughs> I promise you. It's Where's true. the proof? I need proof. I'm no, fucking I... going to take a photo. No, nah, I actually swear that it's true. Honestly. I mean, if you say it's true, I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> it's just convenient. It was guy, girl, guy. You know what I mean? That was the convenient part. That was, no, that you was you know what part. it is as well? He was so determined to use the lies that were made up for us. I, I know. That was true. I know if that was if that was made up for us, it would never have been that good. Imagine just saying hi nice to meet you, but what an embarrassment. I don't want to have a photo, it's like fucking COVID and shit. I'm embarrassed for you, that's what I'm saying. Mm. But he's a 75 year old man, he broke COVID rules. Just remember that, ladies and gentlemen. So, <laughs> so you, you, you won, you won, but he lost. You won, but he, that, that's just, just put him out. I honestly, I was fucking like that. I felt like I was in an interrogation <laughs> that. that was fucking stressful and shit. All right, who's got next, Jamie? Me or you? Uh, You've got something good in your mind. Rock, paper, scissors. Uh, best of one. There we decide uh, who goes. 
One and done it. Oh, well, three, two, one. Fucking blood the way on this. <laughs> all right, wait, 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 wait. Uh, no, I'm all. No, you'd be smart. My, ca- my camera swapped to Liam. <laughs> no, well, I hate it. I'm going first. All right, you go first. I was actually going to say you go first, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, get you the, the brief low down. I've been to Cyprus many a times. Um, and one time when we were there, uh, my dad got in a somewhat of a scrap with a neighbouring villa. What was the scrap about? So we were there, it was me, my uncle, his missus, and my, my big cousin. And then it was me, my dad, and uh, my mum. Emma wasn't alive at this time. And we were being too loud on a barbecue. Mm. And the guy came out and he was like, we're trying to get sleep out here. It's an English fella as well. And it was a, he just started arguing and things got heated and he started scrapping effectively. It wasn't anything serious. It was like a lot of pushing and shoving and there might have been one swing. What age would you have been? Like eight or nine. I was dead young at the time. Well, I said, no, I said it earlier. Emma wasn't born at this time, so... What age are you? But isn't Emma 17 now? I know. know. Emma's 17. Emma's 16. 16. Still year 22. Just turned 16 as well. So was your mum pregnant with her at the time then? Honestly, I can't mean. I just know she wasn't born at that time. When did you start to have a fear of flights? Not fear, but when did that start to affect you? I've never had a fear of flights. I've always been travel sick. No, but when, so, what made it easier to go on these trips to Cyprus? I've been to Cyprus seven times. I've been to Greece once or twice. I, I bear in mind what you're thinking is I've not been abroad in, like, 10 or 10 years or so. Yeah. Like, till France. Yeah. Aye. So it was before that, obviously. But I've been to Cyprus, like, seven times. So if your parents and all that always went on holiday, like, up until, say, you're about 10 or whatever, how come then you just, they just never went again after that point? Any particular reason, though? Not- no, my mum does. She goes to Cyprus. Uh, she goes to Spain every year uh, with her pals. Uh, our one of her pals owns a villa there. She goes there every year. My dad, if he can get the time off, goes. And Emma goes as well. I just never went because one, I never had a passport, and two, I just never wanted to go. Okay. I was, I was a gamer, gamer at heart. Do, do they still go to the same villa? Aye, every, every September. Is this the same villa that the scrap happened? No, 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 no. The, the villa that... Damn it, I was hoping to catch him. <laughs> I know. The, the, villa, the villa in Spain is separate, but the one in yeah. the one in the Cyprus is in Paphos. Aye. And where? In Paphos. It's, that was the one that we were at. But no, I didn't... Uh, it's not the same one you go every time. Hmm. This is way fun, by the way. I don't know what you're talking about, Liam. <laughs> The, the uncertainty that you are going through right now, this is well fun. I think, I, get, I think I've got an answer. What are you thinking? <laughs> I'm thinking actually, I've got a coin here and I flip it. No, wait, hold on. Actually, <laughs> see when um, see when Ellis Allen was like, any police or that involved? Did any other neighbours come out and try and break up? No. Nah, so my uncle, my uncle's never been a fighter, the one that we're there with. Rather be a lover than a fighter. Uh, and... Um, Basically, my dad was getting heated because he gets to go on holiday once a year, yeah. and he was obviously getting grief about something that was just embarrassing. Um, and my uncle came in and pulled my way, and the guy kind of went back in his house and wore the villa, and that was it. Mm. So, I'll like, get an answer. What's your answer? You ready to get your answer? I think it's fucking Ferrari Enzo going down your street. <laughs> what the fuck? I think it's total bullshit. See, Harvey thinks it is, but he's also Wait. fucking told it really well if it's male shit. I've got one more question. It won't change my answer. How many brothers does your dad have? Four. I think it's bullshit. You're good, bullshit. No, no, he's, no, he's got three. He's got three. Oh. Aye, I, 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 that cements my answer in bullshit. Billy, John. I, I'll explain why oh, after. So you're, wait, so you're going for, to lie. I'll wait for you to answer, Liam, then I'll explain why I said lie. I'll, I'll, you go, uncle, I'll, I'll, go tr- no, no. I'll go true just to make a difference. Here, I, mean, I know, 
I know that that thing happened in the pool club, and you said your uncle's not a fighter, but I know that thing happened in the pool club where this big, I can't remember the guy, but this guy was acting all hard with your dad trying to kick him out, and your dad and his brothers went round, and you're saying your uncle's not a fighter. So is it true for a lie? Are you talking about when they were young? Aye. All right, okay. And you Aye. said he's not a fighter. So Aye, it? man, it could be a different uncle. Aye, you but you said, you said all his brothers came round with him. I did that, but when you were young, you were you were a fighter back in the day. Aye, what was that? I was never, I was never. What was <laughs> that after? Oh no, it's total bullshit, aye. Ah, oh, yes, was, that is a, it's that was a... No, your, your justification doesn't make sense. No, it does, you said... No, 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 no. When you... All that did happen, though, all their brothers went round. Aye, and I believe it. And they they said, but aye. that was when they were wee guys. Aye, but I still believe it. Well, I still believe, if you're willing to do that, and somebody's going up to your brother at a villa, one guy, you just take him. <laughs> <laughs> so did is any of the story true or did you make it completely up you don't travel do you they did argue no no everything was true they did we, so they everything was true apart from the scrap they never scrapped um emma was there um i should have fucking gone with it because that was the bit that you fucked up on was her, was her age and your Nobody age knows, and that. I, I... What age? Is she, is she 17 or is she actually 16? No, she's 16. I, I actually don't think she was there when I'm thinking about it. Because like, when you said 17, I was thinking that she's learning to drive the notion of... Aye, she is. Aye, you're right. She's I know you... I so I I should have just stuck... I knew it was a lie for there, but I was just... That, like, was, that was the only <laughs> bit that... The, the rest of it, I fully believe, but that bit was the only bit. Was like, the, it was a bit about the uncle and a bit about Emma that made me cautious. No, you've done well, Jamie, to be fair. I'm worried uh, about how good you tell a lie. There's the problem there. <laughs> <laughs> as, as the small details, you need to pick up the small details. Like We know, uh, we know now when it's his turn next. <laughs> all right. Yeah, um, that right, well I'll try to think of what, what I want to use. All right. <laughs> Some dogs are going mental. I know. Do you want me to wait a minute? Nah, so They might never stop. I was born when my great great grand was alive. So my great grand's mum was alive when I was born. Wait, wait, no. wait, say no, that wait, wait, hold on. Repeat the question. Hey, repeat the statement. When I was born, my great great grand was alive. Like right now to this day, my great grand is alive. But when I was born, my great great grand was alive. Her mother was alive. Is your family all from Scot uh, all from Glasgow, Don? That side of the family. Like, so my great grand sorry you. That my great grand She was Gordon, probably Gordon. about forty. <laughs> what I'll say is my grand my great grand had my grand when she was twenty. My grand had uh, my mum when she was seventeen and uh, my mum had me when she was twenty. So wait, what age was your great great grand when you were born? I I don't know. I couldn't tell your age because I literally I did I never met her to like any recollection that I would actually like But did she die before you uh, she died before I was even like really like alive. But you I know what age she was when she died. She was she died like late nineties. But she I was, was ninety or as an actual in the nineties. Uh, she like she was in the late night. She was in her late nineties. I was her born in two thousand. She was in very late nineties. Right now, my great grand's coming up for. So late wasn't 90s. it like nineteen ninety six or something like that? She was no, actual ninety. Or... No, no. Mm. So to put it in perspective, my great my great great grand. Had my great grand when she was be between seventeen and twenty. So, so what year did your great great in this story? Uh, <laughs> so uh, what year did your great great grand die? Probably about two between two thousand and two thousand three. I don't know. I was now like actual. Nah, just, he's, he's went too specific there. No, oh, it was at that point. What do you mean nah. too specific? He didn't give well, a date. <laughs> I know, but no, nah. that's fine. No, no, wait, no, let's keep going, you know. So, I know, yeah. I'm, I'm happy to keep going. I've got name of right. What's your great-great-grand's first name? Like, Catherine. What's your great-grand's first name? Kathy. Same name, but they're pronounced what's your, different. What's your grand's name? Sadie. Like, on her birth certificate, it's Sarah, but it's actually Sadie. Sadie. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. What's your great-grand's first name? Like, Catherine. Same name, but they're pronounced Sadie. different. Sadie. On her birth certificate, it's Sarah, but it's actually Sadie. They just wouldn't let my great-grand put that on her birth certificate. Okay. What's your mother's name? <laughs> What's your mother's Sarah. name? So, so it goes, <laughs> Ka Catherine, Kathy, <laughs> Sarah, Sarah. Like my mum called Sarah. That's the, only, that's the only reason I asked that question. Do you have a sister? Um, no. I was going to say, you've ruined the cycle then. <laughs> <laughs> well, right, put it this way, Dylan. Your great, great, your, sorry, Damn. your great gran is still alive right now. Uh, she's very late 90s. She's very late 90s. Mm -hmm. I think she so, she had her 98th birthday like last year. 
and she said like, she had to her friend she was 12 fuck it's been 20 years it could be true <laughs> it's, 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 and every pretty much every era of my family had a kid before they turned 20 but my, my i've got an older brother who my mom had to, she was 17 See, the, the issue, again, to let you behind the curtain, viewers, is that Dylan pre-planned out his own lies as well. So, this, so I've planned it, all my truths nah, and all my lies nah, I've planned it. Hold on. Wait a second. No chance. Wait. Wait, Liam, let what? me just divulge this here for you. It's 2021, minus in 88 yeah. years. That means his great-grand was born in 1923. Right? Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I get fine. <laughs> so that's, that's a three-year gap in which he's given... For the, his great great grand to be. My great pregnant. my great great grand was in like alive during world. My great grand was alive during world war two. My great great grand was like actual prop. Like my great grand was like young in world war two. My great great grand was Your like. Your great long- great has to be on eighteen something. So eighteen nineties. Well, it, it was no like wait the, no actually early nineties. Yeah, so she must be like nineteen or like like between or something. It has to be nineteen o one o two or three. So yeah, because like, like, cause she said she had her when she was, what, 21, didn't you say? Mm, right, like, like, around about there. And then how old did you say she was when she died? Uh, the, uh, late 90s. Like, I know it's between 90, like, five onwards. But no, she didn't reach 100. Nobody in my family's reached 100, but it was late 90s. I'm certain it's a lie. All right, on you, you can keep going. I, I'm just trying to think of something else. Well, you feel free. One. I know, but I'm just trying to see if there's something else we can get definitively on, you know, truth or a lie. So, sort of well, if you're telling me his great great grandma was born in 1901 or 02, and he was born, no, no, in he said his great, no, he said his great grand was born in what the She's 1920s. Born in so she would have been young during World. She was like, she was like nine during World War Two. My great grand just say it was like 42, so she would have been go back 30. She was born in 1930. No, she was born in 1928. 1928, just about there. So, wait, no, 19, what no, sorry, hold on, hold on. She no, was 19, born, 19, his great grand was born in 1923. Mm-hmm, about there. Right. Which I would have done better to get dates, but I don't have dates. Great so. grand, so yeah, so it's grand, that means then, must great, be 1901. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. So, if you're telling me she's lived to exactly 99, because he was born in 2000. Wait, you were born in 2000? I was born in 2000, 27th oh, of It's done out. It is absolutely done out. That's a lie, and if it's not a lie, I want proof. I mean, I could get you proof. I just can't. I do do you all right? I, I, I'll go with Jamie and say, just because he's so. I, I can kind of see you fucking up the dates here and that making it look like you fucked up, but I will go with Jamie and just say it's a lie. It is a lie. To be honest, I bet the dates aren't far off, though. But she, my, uh, my great gran, like, died, uh, like, she had dementia and all that. She died in like 1999. No, no, no. No, I'm thinking my great gra- my great great grand's aunt uh, sister. See how my great grand she died when my great grand was eleven. So my my great great grand, my great grand's mum died when my <laughs> I'm uh, knowing more about Dylan's family than I know about my own. No, that's right. <laughs> so Move my, on. No, quickly, quickly, my great grand's mum died when she, my great grand was eleven. The like nine or eleven somewhere in there. Uh, and so but my great Great grand's sister was still alive the whole time and she died of dementia. Uh, no, I have I got fun. no fucking clue what you just <laughs> it's like, said. It's like, I know what I said. I know what I said. I got it off my chest. Fair enough. Fair enough. Did you right, understand any of that? No. I just know what I was right. Okay. Is it back to me now, yeah? I was right about you, Jimmy. Just, just not have that. you kept the scores, Liam? Yeah. Uh, everybody's on oh, zero. Yeah, so... No, no, I'm on one. I'm on one person. No. Score. No, we're both no, on. We're all three of us are on one now. But um, I'm ahead of these. Don't worry. Have we been on one? Have we on one? You got one from. So I got you right. Liam got you wrong. Yeah. But you and Liam got me right. Yeah. Did I not get Liam right? No, you got me wrong. Oh, so it's a lot. That was bullshit, your man, that's why. Oh, because it didn't matter for It's fucking true. <laughs> Joe pissed off on us as well because I was like, oh, I'm going to like fucking tell like Lewis and Jamie because I can't be like James. Well, I was like, actually, fucking podcast, I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Mm. I wait, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> He's been fucking delivered. He's going away to fucking be sick. Is that, is that Keith? Know? Is that Keith getting his delivery on? Anyway, got him. Keith for the delivery, eh? <laughs> no, I'm a fucking shooting like fuck. Right. <laughs> we fucking sixteen. I seven. 
<laughs> right, I need to get Liam's up. I need to really look right into his eyes. I hear it. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> you two fucking fun staring at me. <laughs> I own a tiger skin. My first question is, what the fuck's a tiger skin? I don't know what it is. <laughs> Are you seriously asking? <laughs> it is a tiger that whose skin has been cut off. What? Is it a, like, what is it? Like, what actually is it that you own? Like, it's an actual tiger. No, skin. but I'm saying, is it made into any clothes or anything like that? Or is it literally just a, No, a, you know, a like, in the films, how you see them, like, you know, sprawled out on the living room mm-hmm. floor, like, as a rug. It's mm-hmm. like, it looks like that. Did you get it, or was it a gift? It was a gift. Convenient. <laughs> From my no longer step-granddad. How did he get into the idea of like collecting skins like that? <laughs> well, <laughs> my step granddad or former step granddad <laughs> can't fucking do this. <laughs> um, <laughs> he travelled the world as a younger man. He worked in Asia. I can't exactly remember which country in Asia, but he worked there during like his younger years. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was when Safari was still allowed. And he was asked to go on a safari and he went with one other guy one day. And the story goes, he um, basically was cutting about, but they obviously have to keep like a gun on them just in case like something happens. So like it's maybe a peaceful one, just like go and watch with like binoculars from afar. Mm-hmm. So they were like, <laughs> so no, the way it was told to me was up a tree. Now I'm not like fucking imagine like some massive tree here. I'm just imagining like- A savannah like, kind of tree, like a low tree. Either like a low tree or they're standing next to a tree. To be honest, it's been a long time since I've heard the story, so I can't remember. Who told you the story real quick? My step granddad. Yeah, okay. Um, when he, uh, so anyway, watching the tigers as you go about, they're just looking out. Um, he sees one, he's just looking, and then, nice guess in the background. Um, <laughs> it's the first time I've had a live audience. In fact, no, it's not, but anyway. Um, <laughs> I was a live audience. I've been everything in this book. I've everything to use. Thanks. Um, no, nah, so anyway, he's like looking out, sees like a tiger and he's just watching or whatever. His guide then like nudges him to like point to something else over to his other side. He goes around to look at it, can't see anything, turns back around. Can he see the tiger? Can he find it anywhere? Next minute, it's like running towards him. He then shoots it. And what then, country was this in again? Honestly, I do not remember. What I idea know, country was like, ah, uh, like... This would have been in, like, the 50s or the 60s. So, and, and it was an Asian country, not an African country? Asian country, yeah. I knew he used to work in Vietnam, when but did I don't he know if to this part, and, uh, like, a plant owner. A plant owner? Yeah, like, pl- as in, like, a, like, pl- I don't know what you call it. It's, like, electric plant, sort of thing. All right, okay. Um, it has been a long time since I've heard this story, I will be honest. Right, okay. And uh, I think you've just made this story up. On your right, so he shot it, then what's happened? Well, then it's, well, you know, you can just leave it, but then, you know, I, I want the guests to, be, I want everyone to bear in mind this is a different era and, you know, things like this weren't really. Right, that's, the not, that's not allowed in so, uh, Africa with certain animals as well. But, uh, well, it happened in Asia, but like, um, I mean, like his house is like full of old memorabilia. He's got like fucking. Um, like tusks and stuff like from elephants and stuff like that. Um like I said, no, obviously different time. <laughs> um, it would, if it was he getting these elephant tusks and all that about the same time? I mean I imagine so I don't know the story. So it would need that. to be India really because you only really get the Indian af- elephant in uh, Asia. Like I say he's travelled a bit a lot. And you do I mean, get like, you do get tigers in India. It just I know he was, and I, like I said, I knew he used to work in Vietnam. I don't know if it took place there, this tiger thing that happened. But then he brought it back, brought it through, like, uh, brought it back to customs. and you know, There wasn't really customs at that time? Yeah, there wasn't. Well, well, he brought it back, but he said he had a, it was basically very hard being back in the 60s to bring it back, so it cost him, like, you know, a lot of money back in the day just to bring it back. How and long then, is it? How long is the tiger skin? Uh, just a rough estimate, like two meters a meter. Um, probably long. Nah, maybe a wee bit smaller than me, roughly. Have you had that appraised or anything like that? No, I haven't seen it in years. Where is it? It's in Aberdeen. Hmm, mm, convenient that. It is. 
I'm going to open Tusk say. Why have I never yeah. seen it or heard about this story? Because to be honest, I forgot about it until the other day when I had to think of something interesting for this podcast. I was really searching. Mm. Mm. Fucking oh. convenient. Mm-hmm. No, so it doesn't help that I don't speak to those people anymore. So, you know. What's the chance? So, are you ever going to get that back? Honestly, probably not. If I did ask, I might do, but probably not. not gonna gonna ask. When, he t- when he told me the story, he was like, Yeah, no, it's going to be your sort of thing. I was like, Oh. And, you know, I was a nine, you know, when I first seen it, I was like a nine year old. I was like, That's fucking cool as shit, you know. So, it's not your dad's side of the family? No. Your mum's? No, neither. It's, it was my dad's ex's side of the family. Ah, so that's why you don't speak to them. Mm. Right. See, that makes sense here, Don. Glad I clarified See, that. I'm not going to lie. See, I don't, I don't need to know that stuff and I'm going to say it's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, it is a lie. That's, inf- that's information. It's, it went in my head. No, no, no. It is, it is a lie. And I'll, 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 I'll disclose why it's a lie very soon. I'll we'll disclose we'll why it's a lie. Aye, because you're going to tell me. It's, it's a, lie. a lie. Go for it. What does this photo say, boys? <laughs> Do you own it? Yeah, <laughs> it's technically mine. <laughs> like, you can't really wow. see because the fucking light. Oh, 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 oh. Man's came cooking it with a fucking, we are fucking proof as I well. Had to, like, I had to go and like fish this out of the cupboard before we that's started. That's not you. That's not you. It's fine. That's not you. That's no. Like, it's <laughs> fucking <laughs> obvious. Uh, that, that looks like fucking Sam Little John. <laughs> like, I fucking did. It. Right, go in there. Why was I telling the light, Jamie? <laughs> no, right. What? See, I thought it fucked up because he was away to give a wee bit of detail. He was away to say. When my, yeah. like, it was in the book, you say, Granddad was alive, you, you, like, you stoked yourself. No. And I was no, like, no, I, no, he's tried to add no. a bit more detail in there because he's, he's talking shit. Yeah. But no, come on, I don't, I appreciate that. I've done well with that. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's fair, right? That's fair. Convenient it's in Aberdeen, though. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's been technically mine. <laughs> I probably wouldn't look good. I probably wouldn't look good now. If I I'm thought at night, damn, this will be so I was going to say, it's going to be fucking different for you, Dylan, but I just, I thought, you know. I'm a Billy yeah. Bill shitter. Is it me, I? You, you were crumbling as well. You were just scared. I fucking, pa- right. The thing was, right, in my head, I was like, I know I'm going to win because there's no fucking way they ever believe. Because in my head as well, right, I don't remember like great details of my story. So I was like, there's no way they're going to think this is true. I told as honestly as I could remember it, but I was just like, I, there's parts that I forget, so, you know, what chance do they have? Right. Is it me, I? It is you. <sighs> right. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Straight away. <laughs> right, so... Wait, your last one was a lie, wasn't it? No. Uh, yeah. I was, I was. Yeah, I. Yeah. Um, right, so, back to the, the beautiful... Beautiful area of Cyprus, right? Mm-hmm. Jesus, did everything happen there? <laughs> mate, I've, actually, I've been there seven times, mate. It's silly, I mean. I think um, it's an eight the previous time. Oh, We've already caught him out, Dylan. He's, good, on He's on the ropes. So, Erin, Cyprus. Um, there's a shop on next to the beach, right? Um, and the wee guy that owns it, um, basically every year that we were going there, Every year we would go into the shop and they would bring out step ladders and they would go up the tree and they would uh, pick cocoa leaves off. And uh, like by the end of our trip where we go and they would have like chocolate all made and stuff for us. Um, every year we fit fell. How much do they charge us? I can fucking see them laughing so much of it. <laughs> right. And, and then, so- Sorry, just do you mind saying that again? So like he like so this guy worked there, yeah, the same place. Right, so he was a shopkeeper. His name is Renos, right? And he was a shopkeeper. What was like, the name? Mm, that's convenient that you know the name though. Renos. Yeah. Renos. And uh, every year. Went, uh, it's been a long time. It's convenient to remember <laughs> Renos. Every year we were there, he would we would go to the shop and because I was a wee guy, like he used to get his step ladders up and stuff and go up the tree and pick the leaves and uh well, we used to we all used to watch them, and then he would go in and he would, uh, like smash up the leaves and stuff and get all the cocoa out of them, and that's how they make chocolate in Cyprus. And um, and by the end of the trip, roughly the end of the trip, we would go in and we'd all have he would have chocolate made for us and stuff. Right, I thought it's right. I don't like these bullshit ones of just like yeah, mostly story true, but one part's a lot. <laughs> So you could quite easily... Reno's, for all I know, could be like your dad's best mate or whatever. <laughs> but you've just bullshit the rest. 
I've got a very solid answer. So I'm not going to say it yet. I'll keep. Nah, I want to just keep. I know. I know. I know. But I, I want to back up my theory. Well, go on then. You question them more then. Oh, we finished. Right. <laughs> hey, hey, no. All right. I'm panicking. Mm. Crumbling under pressure. How many years did you go to Cyprus? <laughs> did you go? How many times a year did you go to Cyprus? Um, back when my, back when like before Emma was born. I think I, we used to go twice a year, but I was too weak to remember the times. Um, and I think maybe once, and if we could, twice a year. Just depended mm. on year for year. How close is the shop to the villa? Nah, I have no idea. I got me, he's always went to say this might just not even be relevant, but no, just, that's always... what a lot of families tend to do. Like you choose your spot and you just keep going to the same. I, know, I get that. Like, me and my like, family always used to like go to Spain and that when I was a bear, but like we go to like, a different place each time. Like, by saying that you've got the same like area as such, no, 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 but, um... they, they, they did switch up the areas, but ah, right. we, like, we always visited Paphos and we always, like, regardless of where we went that year, we always went to Paphos we, and seen them. Oh, so I just found a beer. <laughs> Oof, no well, he's a kid. <laughs> um, um, I'm I'm pretty decided on man, so. well, I, I think we can get out and more. Uh, no, 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 no. What's your answer currently sitting at? I'm not saying. Um, at the moment, why? But um, I think so. Uh, would that, he only would he, would he only make? Are you make, eating them in order this time? You've gone laid out in front of you. Yeah, hi. Of course you do, you fucking weird. <laughs> um, oh God, I think he's... Um, would you make it for anyone else, did you say, sorry? What do you mean? Like the like the chocolate? Was it like just I don't know, is he? He used to do it for us. Um, what did the chocolate taste overly different to regular chocolate? Aye, it wasn't the same as like what you would get in here. Because our chocolate isn't made out of cocoa leaves. Aye, it was definitely was different fare here. Did you prefer it? Don't know. It's too long ago to remember. It was when I was dead young. Right. I could be wrong here, but I don't even know if you get cocoa leaves, Liam. Oh, no. Is this the part where we look really thick? <laughs> like, All I'm saying is, he Googled Timothy Dalton's wife. I think we should fucking Google <laughs> 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 I never Googled his wife, you bastard. I Googled him. Fair enough. Right, um, so can I Google cocoa leaves? Go for it. Uh, Oh, no, is this cocoa. where you look really fucking thick right now? I think you do. I think you. I'm assuming it's that. cocoa leaves. Don't like it. I don't like it with seeds. I definitely like it with seeds. Ah, so you're changing your story. You seem very oh, sad. Oh, Jamie, you shouldn't have let me go. <laughs> is it not? It's a South American thing. No in Cyprus. I'm going to say... I mean, I was going to say so no go beforehand first. anyway. I'll you go, you go Leo. Uh, I was going to say no anyway, I'll stick to Mando. I'm going to say it's true. What was your reason for true just before you go into it? How's it? The whole time, Jamie just seemed like he was trying to make it, it's like he was laughing and stuff like that. He seemed like he wanted us to think. I was laughing he because was... he was like, you're laughing. No, I know. But I, I, <laughs> he's, he's done what you done, Liam. Like, you were acting nervous. Like, you were nervous. No, no, I was nervous. fucking nervous. No, I don't believe you. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Jamie would be able to hold himself together. So I'm purely on that. I think the story is total bullshit, but I'm just going to say true because of that. Like, he's mad at us. I thought your story was total bullshit, though, and it was this. So I'm going to say it's true. Go on, then. What are you saying, Liam? I'm Liam said false. Lie. I said true. Yeah, that's true. And Man, I can, get, Liam. I, can get, I can get proof if you really need it. And I know I you don't, could, I don't need I knew it was the, the cocoa leaves were in South America because it was a hot country, and I don't doubt that you could just bring one individual like seed over and plant a tree in a hot country like Cyprus. Right. After round two, then. <laughs> Where it's all play for. This is fun. No, no, easy no that, round two's not done. Round two's not done. What? I'm yes. the end of round two. Oh, yeah, sorry. My bad. <laughs> I'm being a fud. All right. <laughs> he's, he's a. Let's get, a we've got a game here, Jamie. He's one ahead. We need game. <laughs> My family ancestors are Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> right, but before you even continue, right? Is this one of these bullshit? Like you've done like a DNA test and you've got zero point zero one percent off. No, do you want me? Do you want me explain how I know? I would love that, yes, please. Right. So, 
my great uncle, my no, no, my great uncle, my dad's brother. Oh, Andrew. no, not the oh, fucking great uncle. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Grands again. Fuck Jamie me. will know. Jamie, <laughs> Jamie will know that I don't see my dad. But I see my uh, my grand from his side, who's also called Cathy, by the way. So I see my grand. I, <laughs> I see my grand from my dad's side. And uh, when I was at my great grand's funeral, who died when I was about 14, when I was at my great grand's funeral, my uncle Andrew was there and he started talking to me. Later on that year, he uh, messaged my great auntie to see if, uh, and to ask me if I'd be okay to meet him. So obviously, I'd like briefly met him at the funeral. I'd been close to my brother's other, um, my dad's other brother, but this was a completely new person to me, so he was nervous about meeting me. So he asked if I'd be okay to meet him. He took me out to a pub. Him and my uncle, I don't know this uncle, but apparently he's my uncle. He had a whole family tree written out, and he showed me where it descended from and names, and he explained to me that it explained from Jamaica. Like actually in Jamaica, well, not not East just of Mumbai, <laughs> not just not just a random uh, part of Jamaica. Like he said, that was just like uh, it, it was. Uh, he did not know that, where. Uh, he, uh, you, you could have just flung it or oh, Kingston, you know. Yeah, I, mean? I know. <laughs> no, to be fair, we would have ripped into more if he said that. I, no, I would. Sure. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know where it was. Like, I don't know where they were from. <laughs> Do you know what's all right? You're chatting so fast and saying so much shit that I have no idea where to start questioning okay, so it. So Dylan, he had a full family tree written in and shit, right? Mm-hmm. And I was what, part of that family tree, that's why you wanted to meet me. Oh, you were just on this, my chance. Yeah, I was on this family tree, like, he sprouted down from my, my dad, like, me, like, you know what I mean? And he's he wanting to meet everybody in his family tree. He already knew I existed, but, like, he wanted to still meet me for the family tree. And have you ever what's got clarification or proof of this? Other than the family tree, no. So have we ever? Have we ever? Have we ever <laughs> he, he, it was, was a very... BBC filming outside. Who do you think you are, by any chance? <laughs> it, it was so a it very could be total bullshit. It, it, as far it, if you don't believe, to him, be fair, it it's a be... strange lie to make up, isn't it, Jamie? <laughs> it, as far as it's, if you want to say it's bullshit, you can say it's bullshit. But it's very. I believed him. So you believed him. So there's mm-hmm. no clarification. I, I would I wouldn't be able to give you proof. This is you testing if I would believe if like I actually like believed them. Mm. But obviously you don't you don't exactly have pictures in the eighteen hundreds, like <laughs> that's what you think. <laughs> but it sounds like your great great grand would have been around to say this. I mean it's, too, it's completely different. That's my mum's side of the family. That's your mom's side of the family. No, that was my mum's side uh, of the family, my grand. This is my dad's side of the family. What's your dad's name again? Jamie. <laughs> you know it, <laughs> You know it, boy! Uh, what's his dad's name? Not a clue. I, I don't know his dad. I know my great my gran on his side of the family uh, was pretty much abused. And the person that I see is my granddad is called Duffy. And, like, he, is, he isn't my granddad, but, like... Duffy? Duffy. He's my... Um, they're, Corn- they're from Cornwall. Oh, <laughs> I, I used to go. To, I used to go to Cornwall all the time. Cornwall's got a lot of good water parks and that. It's class. <laughs> I got invited down to Cornwall. That's enough of the Cornwall. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, I don't know what to say here because these these truths, truths, all lies are shit. How are you meant to question it? Oh, right. We're about in Kingston. Uh, we're about in Jamaica. I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't know nothing about his dad's side, and he's all of a sudden they're Jamaican. <laughs> I can't. I, I, it's, 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 if this is if this is fucking true, it's, it's the fucking bullshit. I know, it's I know, right? Bullshit. I know, right? But can you imagine it? <laughs> <laughs> What's your dad's name, Jamie? Where's your feet, Jimmy? <laughs> no, it can't be true. It can't be true. Ah, well, I can't be. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I can't. Even, I... <laughs> No, 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 no. Wait, where did the Jamaican stem from? So you've seen the family tree. So it was, it was a guy. Like my, so say my great, 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 great granddad was a guy. Like it, it, it was Jamaican. <laughs> was a guy. <laughs> I was say he was Jamaican. So he was Jamaican, and he would have got me like, all right, like so black white, slightly black white, slightly like less black white, and obviously filtered. Up. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 
Nah, if this is true, well, I need proof. I need proof. We're doing <laughs> that, mad. Honestly, Dylan, you're coming on a boat and we're sending it away. <laughs> <All right>. There's <laughs> fucking no chance. All right. If this is fucking true, Dylan, <laughs> if this is fucking true. You know, sir, I want to say true just because I, I, I can't lie about something like this. The thing, the thing is, no, nah, it has to be, I'm sick of that. It has to, there's no fucking way this is true. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what's your answers? It's why? fucking lie. It better be a lie. It's oh. true. No, it's <laughs> not. No, it's I'm not. Like, no, it's not. Look, I, I can't even really easily show you. No, it's but not. I, I swear down Are on my list. Are you fucking kidding me? Look, on my list, I'll crop it down so you don't see it. But... No, I fucking... <laughs> You told that story so Dylan, shit. Dylan, Look, you're coming on, on a boat it's and we're on, it it's, on my, it's on my list. I don't know if you can see that, but it's literally... I cannot fucking... It's on the list, it's true. Like, hey, I, Dylan, Dylan, are you pissing on a boat and we're sending it away? I, I will do that, but you spit in the boat, you don't do it in more than that. <laughs> I mean, do like, it, though, I. I, I would do it, but like, I, know, I know it's right, I fully believe him. Right, so we're doing it? I will do it, but I'm not doing so it yours? now. No, but you're spitting on a bottle and we're sending it away for DNA samples. Aye, 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 I don't mind doing that. Right, that's fine. We're doing that. And if it's not true, we're getting a point when we come back as well. <laughs> we come back in 30 <laughs> months, three months' time and find it. No chance, man. Not a chance. I, I swear down. That. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> what weird old bastard goes to a pub and says, here's your family tree. You want to you know the best part? He tried to get me to go to a Celtic pub. <laughs> nah, right, move on now. I can't even believe that, man. East Mumbai. Oh, I uh, you know how hard it was to tell that story terribly? Like, I was, because Leo was like, it sounds too realistic. I'm like, right, no, I need to, need to pull it back. I knew it was true. No, I, know, I never said fucking, no, you didn't no. fucking think that shit was true. I know, I did. That's what I says. I says, I think this is true just because Liam, of him. Liam, you said it as well. You said, because how would you make up a lie like this? No, I, I didn't pull it and back. And you were like, that's a lie. And I went, lie. Ah. Oh. I pulled it back so much. Like I was gonna, I was ready. to go into so much more detail in that and try to defend it. They're like, wait, the less, less is more here. Just play dumb. <laughs> like, can't believe that, man. Oh, so I'm in the lead. Let's say uh, second round. Ah, Nick cares about scores. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's go. Hey, Liam, it's back to you, mate. After round two, what's the score? Score. Okay, I have got a Nobel oh, Prize winner in my family. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, right on you go, Dylan. Hit him with some questions. What was the Nobel Prize for? Medicine. What branch of medicine? I'd love to be able to say I could remember. Will you give me time to look at my phone so did, I can confirm did, it or not? Did he? No. Did, did he <laughs> cure your leprosy? <laughs> 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 Come on, give me a second to look no, at no, no. Who was it that who was it that won it? <laughs> he's just, um, look at his mannerisms, look at his mannerisms. He actually does get nervous by he's selling it here. And I think now that I've said that he's gonna like, try to sell it less. James White Black. <laughs> White spelled my way, obviously. How's black spelled? <laughs> Look. Right. I still can't go to the Jamaica store. <laughs> right, so when did he win it? 1988. Terrible year. <laughs> Have you ever met the guy? No. Um, uh, weirdly enough, the only reason why I brought this story up was because you reminded me about the family tree. I had a different one that day, but I thought to go down this one. My granddad in the it's early like twenty tens. My granddad in the early twenty tens <laughs> done um, like a family tree of his own, and from that I found like there was certain folk from like World War One in there, like soldiers. So we got to go and visit their graves. Oh, so how long ago was this? Well, they died. Um, no, it's true. It won it in eighty eight, like you said. Now, yeah, he won it in 1988. He died, though, in 2010. I never met the guy. But the my, grand, my granddad in the early 2010s done like a, what do you call it? Um, a what's the name it? It's like, yeah. You know, like ancestry. My ancestry. Yeah, mm-hmm. ancestry route. And he found like folk from like World War One and all that. And he's like met new folk from Ireland and all that. 
the one that also the folk on it that he met was him who was his second cousin. From that, he basically managed to like get in contact through him, and because my granddad's got connections in the prison service, he was able to like you know basically sort of ask to meet him before he died. Was he in, what was he in prison for? No, no, he was never in prison, but like my granddad was like he works like he worked to like rehabilitate prisoners, and like from there he's got like connections with like you know higher up people, so to speak, to track him down and so. What? Uh, in order to track him down. Yeah, hi, basically. And did your granddad like, meet him? Knight, it, this guy was like knighted by the queen and everything as well. <laughs> what do you think, Dom? I think I think his eyes look guilty. Are, I you, think, content, are you content with the information we've got yet? I'm, I'm not sure. Um, when was he knighted for the, by the queen? Same time? No, nah, like 2000, I think it was. What what was the kind that? Of, do you have any idea what the medicine was for? Was it like I life saving? I cannot remember. Was I've it life saving? Was it? Was it like a life saving kind of thing? I th- I think it's like common medicine used today, but I genuinely can't remember. Like I will like after this, like go and check like afterwards. But I genuinely at the moment cannot remember. Right. Where you going, Middle? I think he, he's trying to sell the lie. He's trying to sell it as a lie. He's trying to act out. Instead of always trying to act confident, he's always trying to act out. <laughs> Wait, what you got, with him? I'm always just shit that. <laughs> I'm going to say it's a lie. Wait, well, I think I he's trying to sell it. Well, you've said that, I know it's true. I'm going to look oh, like right. a dick. If I, I, didn't, I didn't know that you knew that. Aye, I knew true. that. Jim White <laughs> Black. Hey, Jim White White, I knew that. <laughs> Apologies, I didn't realise that you knew that. Aye, I knew that. Let's oh, go. that's bullshit. Yeah. I, d- I genuinely didn't know you knew that, so I'm sorry for that. I know, I know that. I remember you told me ages ago. Um, I was trying to like sell it as a lie, but as soon as you said it, I just started laughing because I was like, ah, oh, fuck, I know this is true. That's um, his work was towards a uh, propranolol. That was what he wanted it for. Idea. <laughs> I got my brains. <laughs> um, if he said that to me, you know what I mean? I would have, I would have got straight away. Nah, mate, fully, fully, aye, fully. Uh, is it me, aye? Hmm? Yes. Um. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, 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 hold <laughs> on. You've had one truth, one lie so far, yeah. I'm shy at fucking guessing you, yeah, but... Um, right, this one, I'll take it away for Cyprus. I had another one for Cyprus, but I'll, I'll, I'll take it away if you do, you know. Um, right. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so across the road, there used to be flats where I stay. Yeah. Um, and on the left-hand side of the flats, uh, there was a gap in between the flats and the house, and there was a row of garages. Right, and I got this mad, like... So, on a quad bike for like a wee guy when I was wee mm. and I was driving about outside in it and my uncle came up from my birthday to hand in presents and whatever and he was like I'm going to take you out in the, in the quad we went out in the quad and over there there was a gap and a big drop where the, the farm was and um, he was driving me and I was a wee guy at the time and he pushed he, like, he kept pushing he kept pushing and I went right down the ditch and we're talking oh, we're talking about a good five, six, six foot drop. Did, did you have your heat? Six, six foot drop. It was, it was like a big drop. Um, <laughs> no, I, I honestly don't remember. I was very young. Uh, it would explain a lot if you did. Fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I, 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 I know. Do you know what I mean? I can do it again. But no, I didn't, I didn't, um, I don't know if I hit my head or not. What age were you? You said so you're a young guy, but like, what age roughly? <clears throat> Five, six, seven, that sort of area. Like, and the um, ward was your granddad's, or uncle's. No, I, I got it for... <laughs> <laughs> I got, oh, it was the quad with a toy, Liam. It was a toy quad. I got, I, got it, I got it for my birthday that year. Right. Was, that, was it in the summertime? Yeah, well, hi. My birthday's in the summertime. No, I didn't know if you'd just got it or that. Oh, yeah, and, I got um, it for my birthday. It was my birthday that day. Was, uh, that's, was, that's an important detail that didn't really get brought up at the start. Did your uncle get a lot of shit for it? It was. I, I told you he was coming up to hand in my birthday presents. What is him? 
does your uncle get a lot of shit for it? Nah. Um, well, like, I guess you hurt. Lot... Like, do you remember like being actually? Hurt? I was, I, I was, I was hurt. I, but it wasn't, it was nothing serious. Like, and where to put it? Was it from the front of your house? Where would you describe it? Literally right across the road. You know the house they built across the road. Mm-hmm. They want to put them to, to the right of that. All right. Um. 80% confident man, sir. <laughs> There's no <laughs> many questions you can ask. Like, like why, is there, why, is, why is there not a big fall there? No, why is there not a big deep ditch? Because, like, yeah, when you yeah. go over there, it's just a farm. It's yeah, no, like, there's no dramatic well. fall. Uh, what you know, that's, there, that's but... true. I didn't know I say that because obviously Liam's just going to absorb all my, my knowledge. You know what I mean? No, that's <laughs> my fucking thought process as well, you stupid Jamaican fuck. <laughs> 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 You're making me angry. Fuck off. <laughs> um, <sighs> but genuinely, I don't see how this could be true. There's no, there's no. Don't make a bit of voluntary inflammation just because I feel generous. Mm-hmm. The reason oh, there's anyways. no ditch, the, the reason there's no ditch or drop there now is because the road's been leveled out to go into the new houses. Mm, no, but even <laughs> still, it goes to farm from behind there. Not what. No, behind that guy's house is like all loads of new houses now. No. So I like, see, hold on, so I like, see the house is just opposite you, yeah. Were they there when this happened or no? Aye, so this street's always been like this. Ah, yeah, right. And then the flats were all the way up there. Yeah, I mean the flats. And where, literally, where that road goes into the new houses, right there, it used to be garages. Yeah. You know the ones where like the blue doors you pull up? Aye. Used to be like a row of them. And then right at the end, there used to be a dip, like a big drop into the farm. Right. Yeah. Like, there, there no was no fence us. into it. Aye, but it was all ripped up because next to the junkies and that. Um, and I went down the, went down the ditch. You know when you read it, darling. The thing is, right, why would he lie about that? Like, that's such like a weird thing to lie about. I don't doubt there probably there might have been a ditch. It wouldn't have been five or six feet, and he wouldn't have fell down it or his birthday. Yeah, I know, but it does seem like a weird thing just to make out of thin air. I don't doubt some it's true. Like he did get a quad in his birthday and he did drive to there, but you know, he didn't fall. He did drive to them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was a big deep fall. I don't see how that like I still no hint about it. Like you this is a whole offence. How's a whole quad bike fitting through this whole offence? Like <laughs> You're saying the fence is ripped up. This is like our whole kids quad. Zach's got a kids yeah. quad. It's a substantial size. I don't see how holding a fence could fit that and you falling down it. Okay. Like, oh, where are the junkies going? The junkies jumping down there to go get heroin or something. Like, is that a fucking weed farm? Farmer, Bob. Yeah. Right, um, I'm going to say it's a lie. I, I also think it's a lie. Just, I can't. <laughs> it's true. Is that I don't every, part, every part of it, and I can get my multi it for you, Dylan. Just so All right. You Go get her to prove it and ask her if it was a five or six feet deep hole or if it was one or two foot deep hole. I don't, <laughs> see, junkies, I don't see junkies jumping down six foot just to go get a bus. Oh, no, I, no, that's the thing. I do see junkies jumping down five or six feet. I don't. Okay. I see them a lot more than you, Liam, trust me. No. <laughs> every other time. Literally every part of that was true. Big, big drop. No, no, I believe you. And, um, I should have fucking sucked to my guts. It's a weird fucking thing to make up. <laughs> Sorry. Happy days. I just dropped a, a cup, but it's fine. Uh, <laughs> so who is it? Is it me again? I, c- I can't fucking wait to hear this <laughs> fucking one. If there's any more fucking My great, 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 great grandmaid Abba. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, true. Uh, I have three siblings and one more on the way. Right, you said you, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Right, you said you didn't have any sisters, okay? So they're all brothers. No, but I can, I no, can no, name, no. I can name you. Siblings. I've got a sister on the way. Well, no, I, I think it's it might be like I, I don't know if like it's been uh, as far as I was aware, I was told. Right, it, so it, it, Liam, it, I'm not gonna say it's definitely one. Liam, he's got Zach, Andrew, and one on his dad's side. Right. There's a the three. Right. I don't know if he... Uh, are you cl- So, the person that's pregnant isn't your mum? No. Nah. Because I would know if his mum was pregnant. I feel like <laughs> I would know anyhow. Because you Well, you know. <laughs> no, but uh, I feel like it would have been something that would disclosed for me. 
Nah, he's just saved it for this podcast. No. Tell you what, if it is true, and that's how how many it. how far gone? When's when's a buff fight? Yeah, I'm not sure. When do we tell you a date? It's and it's I think it's about six months from now. So it's still early doors. So wait, sorry, and you can tell me if this is a sensitive subject. You don't I don't mind. You can ask any about. question to do it. Great. Why do you love Hitler so much? But uh, no, it's all right, all right, like right. why? Nah, why? Uh, so like, I thought you said you don't speak to your dad earlier on. Mm-hmm. So what is it? Your stepmom that's pregnant, or what is it? But it's it's on my dad's side of the family. So it's, it's his missus that's pregnant. It is. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Right. What's your, what's your siblings' name? It when your dad said again. Cool. Cool, that's it. Cool. I'm not going to lie, I was thinking something stupid. <laughs> I knew it's like I see, I just couldn't mind it was cool. So, he's got Cole, Andrew and Zach. Mm-hmm. That's the three I know he's got. It can be true then, like... No, it can 100% be true, aye, but the issue is... My dad's in his late 40s. I feel like it would... Why are you giving that voluntary information right there? <laughs> just because, you know, Liam was staring at me. No, see, I mean, also late thirties is a is a late age no, to start having the fourth kid. No, he's forty. He's said to do no. No, he's he's late forties. Like he's past forty five. That's like a like to have your fourth kid in your late forties. I bet it's Glasgow in that. No, I mean it's not in Glasgow. He's he's down in Cornwall. No, if anything, then he would have had five by the time he's thirty. <laughs> he's, how, he how, much, a, how many veins does he got? How many veins does he have? No. Two. We won on the way. So, so, wait, so hold on. So you have at the moment then two actual brothers, one step brother, and you're about to have another step sister potentially. So essentially, I'm about to have a step sister. Like, is what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but I'm saying like at the moment then you have two full brothers and mm-hmm. one step brother, and mm-hmm. you're about to have a step sister. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Well, Zach is not the same dad as me. I know that's fine, but mm-hmm. it, she, he can yeah. feel more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's a full brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, it's like, it's me, Zach, and Andrew, is what I'd say is my family. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't say oh, Cole's yeah. my family. Right, but Cole's you just said your dad had two wins. Yeah, me and Cole. Oh. So, it's got you and Cole. Right. Right, and then. And that I should f- be. I feel like, why, why have you not dealt me? Saved it for the parties. <laughs> no, no. How, how long ago did you hear? <laughs> no, no, but hold on. It's three months Jamie, Jamie, wrote, Jamie knows that I've been talking to my. I started talking to, talk to my dad about a month ago, and I stopped within three days. That's true, but I don't think he would divulge something like. No, sorry. Aye. Uh, no, I feel like, no, I feel like his dad would say, "Aye, you, you might have a wee step sister coming." That's perfectly normal. However, why have you not told me? Because that's. I don't know. How, how how long ago did you find out? When, when I talked talk to my dad in that stint, I talked, I, like, no, like, liar, like, that I did talk to my dad. I did, I remember that. Uh-huh. Did, um, so, like, do you talk to anyone on that side of your family and your dad? Like, I'd, you talk to, like, your stepmom or, I like, would, your brother? I would whatever. speak to my gran, but I don't speak to my gran, but I would. It's just, like, a case of, like, yeah. I'm always working and stuff like that. Who, who told you about it? Was it him during that wee stint? Him. Him. It's far too convenient. The thing is, though, right, like, if he doesn't, like, speak to him uh, at all now as well, it's very possible that, you know, it, like, if it's not going to be a part of your family, like, you might not mention it sort of thing. I feel like a dick here if you have told me. That's going to be really but I feel, I feel like I'd remember something. Like for, and for that reason, I feel like... I mean, I can't call it because I don't know, like, your... Mm. Like, I know you... That is, for you, it's more just, like, sus... I, I will say it's true... Just because it seemed convincing enough, and you know, after the fucking Jamaica story, you can fucking tell me anything and I'll believe it. But <laughs> um, it's believable enough that I'll say it's true. You told me a lot about the time that you spoke to your dad as well. I did tell you a lot of information. I told you most, like, almost every like. It may not have wanted to share at the time, but I thought, do you know what? It's good icebreaker. <laughs> Rip the band-aid off for the podcast. Late forties, you've no told me. Nah, why? That is actually true. I just, I just, my other little brother Cole. He said he didn't want to meet me yet, and because of that, I just didn't tell him. Nah, I'm not accepting that. Fuck it. <laughs> Get him on the phone, Bill. Get him. I can't believe that. You know that you are a cunt. 
Uh, Don't call him a cunt in this situation. Uh, what? You should have dealt with him. Um, also, I don't think I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, but like, that's a deal I heard that. Uh, I changed my name and my dad doesn't know I changed my name. <laughs> like, I changed my name from Campbell to Hart because obviously, like, everything happened with my dad and uh, thingy. Um, I could, why I just, could that not be your trifle? I got that. Your dad or none of your family got social media so they can see that. Uh, that you I, don't I actually have to fucking look for that's, that's that's all I've got, and that's not my other little brother. But I, like, I genuinely that's thought that's like, because of the light on that, that was a fucking sonogram at first. No, I should have done that. <laughs> first no, no, no. Uh, so that's Jamie didn't get the point, and Liam got the point. I fuck you. I bet you he's talking shade just so I don't get the point. I can I can get proof <laughs> After for you. The call he's gonna say, by the way, it was all shade. I can get I actually the photoshopped just... that tiger photo just for that. <laughs> Can't believe that, man. That's a joke. Okay. Now, we have done all three, like we did say that we we're going to. No, it was three rounds, is it not? Yeah. We've done oh, Jesus, rounds. that's three rounds. I'm... Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually having fun here. I didn't expect this to do this I've got... well. Uh, how long are we on this? Uh, we're probably <laughs> about an hour now. I've, I've got, I don't mind them, I've got enough for, like, probably one mere. I can yeah. do I could do a fair few more. Technically, do you have enough for one mayor? At least? I've got enough for a few mayors, technically, but I am happy to just do the, the one I've probably got enough for one mayor, but you know, let me let me search. Please search. Uh, Jamie, Perfect. you fancy going first? <laughs> we, could, we could do off the top of our head now is a, a bonus round what Jamie said. Two, I mean, two, I'm two, I'm two, off the top of my so head. We could, we've done three, we've done one, two, three, three rounds. We could do off the top of our head. Two lies and oh, one right, 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 okay. And like, just okay. say them, then you can ask questions about each one. So I'll tell you this, this, and this, and you just ask questions about the three of them. Right. So, and do you want to direct this to people? So, like, I'll ask you, you ask Jamie. No, no, no. We, we can do it the same format. We'll just mm-hmm. keep going. Like, we'll do it for like one more round at least. I've got enough for one more. And then if I can. So, I can, do you want me to go first or you go on? No, no, I can go first. Go for it. I once had to fake my nationality in order to get into a party. You Chinese bastard. What nationality is this? At least I'm not thinking being Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling the truth about that, but. <laughs> what nationality did you say you were? I had to say I was Irish. Not the side that you like. Let's, let's hear your Irish accent. Oh, no, I didn't fake my accent. I just kept my accent. Up the numbs. I'm Irish. <laughs> right. Whose party? Uh, my friend's Viola's sister's. Your friend who? Viola from college. She was throwing a party together for like folk at college. So why did you need to fake your nationality for it? Because it was a St. Patrick's Day night. So we were all out. I'm embarrassed you went to that for a start, but carry on. We were out at dusk um, by chance um, on the night. We were out and we bumped into her and everyone else was already going at this point, but I was still down to do a bit more. But because it was a St. Patrick's Day night, they were throwing like a you can only burn over Irish guys party. So, and then she was like, Oh, do you fancy coming along for this sort of thing? So, like, yeah, it sounds great. And she was like, You'll need to fake your accent though, or you'll need to say that you're from Ireland. She's like, Yeah, that's fine. I was quite drunk at this point though. And the only thing that I'd done was I just said that I was Irish at the door and they let me in and then questioned it. Uh, I would, I would, I would, one hour at a party or not. See how, see how when you were drinking. Are you good at sleight of hand magic? <laughs> what? <laughs> so wait, is she Irish? No. No, but it's pr- bring she's along Italian. somebody who's Irish. But is it is it bring along Irish men only, or is it? No, I was just like, if you bring someone along, they have to be Irish. So but why? Like so, so you could be fucking Dutch, but as long as you bring an Irish, cunt, you're allowed in. Yeah. But if you were to like go by yourself, you could have like Irish folk round. I think our they, sister wanted it just to be Irish men, but I remember like Irish lasses being there sex as well. Past them. Right. I know, shocking. I really complained. Do you still talk to her now? Briefly, not much. Is it because of this traumatic experience? <laughs> no, I just like, she wasn't. Where was the now. party? It was on above, you know, like where like the Greggs in the centre of town is opposite Food Bar. It's like above, well, no, it's across the road and above that. Like where the tanning salon is, it's mm-hmm. the right of that. That's mm. total bullshit. How many cunts were there? Roughly. 20, 25. 
How long did you stay there for? Well, I got there about maybe one. He said for maybe about three ish. So who hosted the party? The oldest sister. So you is total bullshit. You would you didn't need to fake your nationality. Other people might have, but you didn't because you were with the person's sister who hosted the event. You wouldn't have with that. Her sister, I was with you. No, that's what I'm saying. You that's what I'm saying. Like you were with the person hosting the event's sister. She would have known you by at least by talking to you no, straight she away. Have. I've Aye, never she would have. Before Aye, she would. She would have. She would have sussed you. Up. I've never met this person <laughs> before the party. No, you can be defensive all you want. You're wrong. Right, you, right. You've lost. <laughs> Cry more. <laughs> <laughs> was it Irish themed games? I mean, just cunts were dressed up in green and drinking green liquid. That was about as far as it went for an Irish night. Who were you at Dusk with? Uh, Tash, Lorne, and Graham, I think. What was Graham with? <laughs> how, how long ago was this? Second Last year in college, so for 2017. No, no, we're not at all. It's not bullshit. He knows it. Look at his eyes. No, he's uh, not worried because he's he was just, uh, Where did you live at that point? In a bed. would have been in Bruce Street. Did you mm-hmm. walk? Yeah, of course I did. I nah. went to dusk. Lie. It's a lie already. I already did it. Lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. You didn't need to lie to get in, did you? No, I never had. The whole thing was fake. I thought, <laughs> well, well, check was the fact that you wouldn't have needed to like to get in because you would have been with the person hosting the event's sister. So it's like, why would you need to, like, surely you'd have some sort of past. No, nah, but if you never ever connected with a sister. I know, Yeah, but... no, I didn't get that was the bit that you clocked me out. It's just uh, like... No, his like, logic's ah. always pissed. Like I said, his logic's pissed. No, he just tries no, to justify so it. He guessed and he got he it right. He guessed it, but you know... I, t- you know, no, I, mean, I, t- I got it right. It took scout. It took scout. Fuck off. You're funny. Right. It sucks, though. It really Jamie. sucks, I'm sorry. Uh, so... Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? <laughs> when I was... When I was really young, or well, young, young-ish, um, my... I used to go to a lorry with my dad when he was driving, so the summer holidays I used to go to a lorry. Um, we were travelling somewhere, and we pulled up for petrol, uh, or well, diesel, whatever it is. And um, we jumped to it, and Barry Ferguson was there, filling up his pump. And uh, you just pump my way? Just pump my way. And um, I didn't recognise him at first, because it was a wee guy, and football was like, I was getting into football, and it wasn't something that was massive yet mm. for me. Um, and my dad recognised him, went up to him, got his autograph. Um, and asked him if he could help him get a season ticket for the Bayfields. And Barry Ferguson sorted it out for us. And I've had a season ticket since I was six. Sorry, I've already got an answer. Go on. But I, I, no, I want to elaborate. I want to elaborate. To come no, it... right, I, I, I'm not settled on this answer, but I've already got a. I've already said. Well, let's, well, let's hear then. Why are you thinking? Right. Why were you humming and honing the whole time? Hmm, I am, um, oh, so, um, we were in the, um, car, uh, oh, truck, Damn, uh, have you thought about a job at MI6 after this? <laughs> I, I didn't, I didn't think I was, but anyway. Uh, I didn't think I was, but... <laughs> So what's what, it, you what's with the sass? Cut's <laughs> got, got long hair and he thinks he can be sassy. Fuck up. <laughs> um, I genuinely just shoot face off like where your body was. I don't, I don't think it's true, but I was. I um, no, wait, hold on. So like, um, I'm trying to think. Uh, what car was he driving? Do you remember? It wasn't a car. It was a van. Uh, a lorry. Uh, uh, no. no. A van <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Oh no, it was like a kind of four by four Jeep thing. So, like, uh. Like a Porsche Jeep, for example, something like that. I don't know what the maker maker that was. There was a and his to... word alone has gotten you a season ticket from the age of six or something until twenty two. Uh well, so my dad, my dad's obviously paid for it until I was oh, sixteen, right. seventeen. So my dad paid for me and him um, since I was six until I was at six. He actually paid it on my sixteenth as well, uh, and on my seventeenth, I uh, switched over to my name. And I started paying, and I have done ever since. Okay. And it was originally, yeah. we, were, we were originally Copeland Rear, and then we changed to BF1. 
Wenn you you get a photo with him. No, no. Dad just got an autograph. Because it was kind of made up to me that I wasn't allowed to the lorry at all when I was with him. Well, I guess I saw him, like, take it sort of thing. Well, saw him jump in. No, 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 no. Like, because I was a wee guy, do you know what I mean? Uh, well, we are. The thing is, right, also, I've been in your house quite a lot. I've never seen this autograph, like, placed around anywhere. I'm, like, knowing, like, how bad I've been just found you and your dad, I thought it would be, like, on display somewhere. I don't know. Your mom's quite picky about that stuff. I don't think she'd let a big picture of... Uh, yeah, that's, that's big Baza Ferguson. Uh, like, I don't think she. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she would appreciate that being right beside the family picture around the around the, the, the sun. Yeah, uh, you know, two day, two. There's <laughs> Barry Ferguson sat in the Scotland stands. <laughs> <laughs> you get the Barry Ferguson, the Barry Mackay beside each other. Exactly. Um, uh, it's uh, an autograph, and it's in a wee Rangers book, a wee tiny one. I don't. I don't think that would be a deal breaker for it because his mum. I don't think his okay. mum. <laughs> So what, like that, you just... think it's a lie? Oh, I think it's a lie. I just don't think that would be a deal breaker. I know, but are you saying then it's a lie because I'm late to give it um, No, so <laughs> what is it that he done to help you get the season ticket? Like, what could he have actually done? I mean, well, so back then, but... like, the, the official website was now a massive thing, right? And season tickets was like, you need to organise it with the turnstile. Ah, uh, you, you need to go to the stadium and get a season ticket. And because it was a year and my dad tried to get me into football, um, it was, I think he had maybe had it planned or whatever, but he basically says to Barry Ferguson, let him try to get a season ticket for me and my boy. Um, and Barry Ferguson basically gave him uh, the email address, like his business email address, and he emailed it. And then he came back and says, here's how we'll, we'll do it. And then he organised everything with the club. And then they got a phone call for a representative for the Angels. And they set us up with a ticket. So it seems Jamie, to Jamie's going to say that's is true, but it's not. Right. Are you ready to give your answer? Uh huh. It's, it's false. Jamie's going to say it's true, but it's false. Are you saying it's false? I'm saying it's false, but I'm saying he's also going to say it's true, but it is false. Yeah. Well, unfortunately for you, Don, he has said previously on the podcast before this story. Now, <laughs> I will say I'm going to say this is true, but. Yeah, I've told this story in detail before the podcast. The only difference being, I don't think you mentioned the fucking lorry, but I don't think that'll be the deal breaker. So I'm going to say it's true, just in case. Aye, that's true. Right. That's but, sure. And we were, we were in the lorry, but it was uh, I don't was know. That know the I told 500, it was that the 500 Days of Summer episode that we brought that up. Fuck, that was so long ago. Is it just ago? 500 days of summer, which is day on episode every 500 days. Ah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> that used to be he's done for an episode every 500 days. My fucking, my fucking finish and fair. <laughs> we haven't missed a week. I though, know, but there was a long period through lockdown. No, <laughs> no, I don't know what you're talking about. We are very consistent. <laughs> Darren, I thought you would have got that straight away. You didn't tell it. me that story. I've told uh, you well known I've had a season ticket for that long. Oh, I know you've had a season I, ticket. To be for fair, though, I didn't know Barry Ferguson. Or, I don't remember you saying on the pod that Barry Ferguson right, so arranged like, it. When I say arranged it, as in like he never gave us free season tickets, what I mean. I know, like, I know, yeah, you I, know would, I know what you I mean. I know the by story that, never like, meant. I didn't, I didn't remember him doing that for you. I remember the part where he's met him and that. It's all bullshit, Liam. Just ignore him. He's just talking. Right. <laughs> I knew you were going to say it was true, so I did know you were going to say it was true. Jamie, 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 Jamie. Oh, it's, it's, it's me, aye. Um, aye, you're Jamaican fucking bastard. Uh, right, you can, you can be jealous if you want. Um, <laughs> Still can't go. Wah, 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 wah. So, I'm still looking. <laughs> still, for one. <laughs> oh... When I was three years old, I, I was taught to swim when I was three years old, so I could swim before I could, like, have normal memory. So it's far, I've never remembered not being able to swim. Say that again. So when I was three years old, I was taught, like, I could swim before I was three. Like, when I was three or before, like, I don't have any actual living memory of not being able to swim. <laughs> you can't eat, but... Nah. <laughs> Go on, Jamie, what's wrong with this? <laughs> Go on. Ah, this boy. This boy, yo. <laughs> you mean to tell me I could barely walk? You're telling well, me you were in a fucking before I was Before I was three years old, I was, part of, little, I was part of a little swimmer's club in Bell Houston and I could swim. 
Like I'm not even. It's, who, who yeah, took you why, to why is everything just like massive packs when it comes to your life? <laughs> my mum would take me to the club. Wait, wait, wait I'm asking him a few questions. Ma, I, I, all right. My mum took me to the club. I'll give you information he doesn't even know. My mum took me to the club, but my mum has bad arthritis. My mum could never swim. That's why she took me to a little swimmer's club when I was young. Because if my mum goes in water, even in a warm swimming pool, she will like her body starts to go purple and stuff like that. And it's it's embarrassing because like in she's a got, warm swimming pool. Like even in a warm swimming pool for when she goes out of that for that minute. I think when, it's cold though that affects arthritis. It does no, but what I'm saying is when she's cold. As soon, uh, as soon as she's wet, as soon as she goes out that pool, like say she was to take me to time capsule, walking up the stairs to go on the side, she'd be freezing and she'd turn purple. So she doesn't go swimming because it embarrasses her. My brother was only four years older than me and he could already swim. But my mum didn't want him to teach me an eight-year-old teaching a, a, a seven-year-old teaching a three-year-old how to swim. Just doesn't really work. So my mum took me to a little swimmer's club, the same one he went to. So on from then you've become fucking the beast. I can't. I'm not. I'm not amazing at something, but I could. There's not a memory I've had where I, if I was to go into a pool, not seeing the sea, but if I was to go into a pool, I would never drown because my mum taught me to swim when I was like when I learned how to swim. <laughs> As you said, yeah. I mean, you just missed the infamous phrase. If I ever went to a pool, I could never drown. <laughs> Uh, basically, do you know if his mom has a flight or yes or no? Uh, I don't think she does. I mean, but I, can, I can try and get proof of that, but like... It's definitely don't, something. No, we don't need more family members getting exposed on this no, no. podcast. My mum my, my had a lot of bad health issues. Like, she had a brain aneurysm when I was 12. Uh, like thought she was working at, uh, with the Common Earth Games, like she was building up the Athletes Village and she had a brain aneurysm when she was working there. She's like, just a lot of stuff has happened when she's like, and she's got a lot of health issues. When my brother used to look after me when I was eight in the house and stuff like that because she was in hospital because she had Reynolds arthritis and stuff like that. Basically, he's saying that his brother thought he might swim. No, 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 my brother... sorry, no, sorry, yeah, his brother he didn't want to teach his brother, so he went to a wee swimmers club. A little That's swimmers nice. club, the same one my little brother went to, my older brother went to. And my mum tried to take Zach to a little swimmers club, but Zach's not, like, Zach just isn't able to swim. Like, he's just not able to swim. What age is he? Uh, he's, he's four, but he's got autism. And, like, we didn't know until very recently, but that shows why he wasn't able to, like, settle down and just learn how to swim. Um, where was the swimming club? Bellhurston Park. He did say that before as well. I don't know. I just wanted to make sure he yeah, was going to no, clarify. Right, yeah. I was... You can search up. There is a full, there's a swimming club and everything there. I don't know if I, I don't know if it's still a little summer. See, I think what I think Sam did, Liam, is is his brother went to that same swimming club. He got taught how to swim. Dylan went, but he wasn't fucking. I don't. Ha- to I one. don't. I don't have a memory of nobody able to swim. That's like just true. The thing is, though, that can be any cunt. Some folk don't have a memory of, like, until they're five. I years went old. to a swimming club when I was in primary five and I could swim. I was, like, one of the only people in my class you, that could Yeah, but all right. But you swim. tell me from the ages of, like, four till primary five, so what, ten? In five years, you never swam once. Oh, I, oh, I did and swim and I knew how to swim. That's what I'm saying. Like, I regularly went swimming and stuff like that. I went to, like, after I knew how to swim, I would just actively keep swimming to the point of when I started having memories and stuff like that. I could just always swim. Like, like stuff like going to swimming club. I was one of the people in that swimming club. They teach you how, like how to do the breaststroke and stuff like that. But I knew how to like I could just stay afloat and like swim from here to there. Not the quickest or the best technique, but I could always swim. Yeah, I believe he can always swim and I can believe he swam for that amount of time, but I do not believe that he was swimming before he was free. It is a genuinely they, there's a lot of clubs where they put kids into water just to teach them to swim. Like they'll let kids like go deep in water and like pull them out and stuff like that. Right, so you're saying why? Uh, he's not technically right, coordinated well, enough. Yeah, well, and I'll, do you know what, I'll just to keep it interesting since the scores are tied, I'll say it's true. Well, it's it's lies. I, I could barely swim when I was younger. I didn't learn to swim. I don't remember learning to swim when he's I was no te- he's, he's no technically gifted in, in that My mum does have... Uh, my mom well, does no, he's no, though. <laughs> uh, have you ever seen him run? Like, I can swim. I can swim really good, man. I thought, actually, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, thinking back to football now, yeah, I see what you mean. I can swim really um, well now. I can do that. I've learned this. In that just, swimming club, I, in that swimming club, I learned this swim. You won the free, though. I was the free, though. Just to kind of go on to Oh, mind. you found it. Autographs. Barry Ferguson's. 
I mean, I mean, mo- like most versions, that could be any fucking cunt spy. Nah, it could, it could be I, but I've got a, I've got a fair few in here. But I, Barry Ferguson's is in there. Fair play. Just to, just to. I mean, I believe the true. <laughs> <laughs> it was mainly at least for you, At least you got yeah, that one wrong. At least you got that one wrong. Okay then. <laughs> are we? Are we doing one more, or are we leaving it there? I mean, I'll, I'll happily do one more. But... I'll do one more. I'll do one more each when I say uh, two truths and a lie. You say two. Like, this one must be true. I can't fucking think of anything anywhere. I'm running out. I'm well, if you, if you know, can... just, do, just do one more late, we've been doing it. Yeah. All right. All right. So try to overcomplicate things if you did. All right. Oh, yeah. Bear with me with technical difficulties. I mean, I can go first if you want. We can fuck the order. Ever since I was a bairn, I've always been terrified of puppets. <laughs> to say, okay, oh, why does he if he shakes himself? <laughs> <laughs> I want this to be true. <laughs> <laughs> um, Where did you develop your fear? When was the first time you seen a puppet? Um, my mom and dad. You remember um, Team America, Little Police? Aye. Yeah, they showed me to that thinking it was like some sort of like kids thing, uh, realizing mm-hmm. it was an 18, and it sort of like scarred me for life. Oh, the puppet pumped me, Oh, it's, it's, it's a terrible movie to watch as a kid. Yeah, like, I was about like fucking four when I first watched that. <laughs> like, I watched like the first like half an hour, and like since then, just been given the fear. What, what movie was it? Team America World Police. The fucking like, it's the same folk that made South Park, but they've done like puppets instead. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, to be fair though, actually, the main reason why I'm so scared of it is. Um, Wait, you're still scared of them? Right, like, it's not like, uh, like, fuck me, but it's like, I'll feel uncomfortable if I have to like, watch something or like be in the same room as one. So, what what did you think I saw then? Okay. The, I've never the... seen it. Not through like fucking fear of puppets, but like, I've just never been interested in horror movies. Wait, what do you think of the Muppets? Do you shake yourself going to your bed? I can't even watch the Muppets. <laughs> I can't even watch it. That's all I, I seen you in the cinema watching the Muppets last week. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> when did you when did you watch it? Team America. Aye. When I was about four. Right, okay. But actually the other thing as well that sort of made me fear there was um they then you just watch Thunderbirds as a kid. Well that mo- I've been wanting to watch that recently. The um you know the hood in it, yeah, it's like mm-hmm. big red glowing eyes. Mm-hmm. That shit scared fuck out of me as a kid. I had to like run out of the room, sort of thing, because I couldn't stand it. Are you absolutely certain you were four when you watched it? Well, Team America. I think I would have been about that age. Because I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure that was released like late 2000s. Well, you can Google it. I'm pretty sure you've already Googled it, you know? No. You didn't know what it was. What? I'm pretty sure you already googled it because I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it was, but it's a it's something that's popular though. But I couldn't tell you when it is, but I would imagine late two thousands is when that came out. Well, I'm pretty sure that's the film that I seen when I was four because I remember them. Oh, she knew he's pretty sure the my answers concluded. Ah, oh, same. Uh, you're, pretty, you're pretty sure that. Ah, uh, he's fucked it. It's all right. Like... Right, right. Nah, I was going to say, pretty sure that the fucking Afghan. Have you seen it? The fucking Afghanistan like opening when like, mm-hmm. they're driving around killing Bin Laden. Mm. Uh, despite that, I'm going to say it's off. <laughs> well, I'm sure he's seen it, but it's not been when he was that age. That's what's thrown me off. Um, but I do think he has got a phobia. As such, but either he's got his age wrong when he first watched it. Is that a possibility, or are you guaranteeing it? It might be. I'm pretty sure it's four, but I'm not going to say for one hundred. He's either got the he's either he's either lying or he's lying effectively. He's lying and he's not telling the truth. Aye. Um, I'm going to say I'm going to say it's it's true. Do you want me to quickly tell you what year the film is? No, 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 I'm just going to say it's true, I'm just going to say it's true. I'm going to say it's a lie. Just to mix it up and that. He's busy checking the year that we don't care about. (laughs) 
I would have been <laughs> fourth when it came out. However, it's still why. I thought it was I just wanted to, uh, you know, make it interesting. All right. How you I, remember, I will say I was genuinely, as a bairn, a, like, a four-year-old scared of the hood from Thunderbirds. What year, did it, what year did it come out? 2003. All right. I'll be back. Me, and, and we're back. Jamie, <laughs> it's now you. Um, so in my entire lifetime, mm-hmm. I have only been to three concerts. Um, I don't even think you've been to three. <clears throat> Name the three. Oh, uh, Pink with my dad and my mum. Coldplay. And I went to Ollie Wars for my wee sister because it was a birthday. Didn't enjoy my mum, so I'm not going to lie to you. Have you not done any of the festivals? Have you not done like fucking no. Nah. So I knew you and me were due to go la- like last year before COVID. Mm-hmm. That. I, w- I would do it, but I've never done it. Yeah. I've only okay, ever so been to like yeah, so... standard concerts for one individual. Um, Teen the Park, I was meant to go to that when I was in school, high school. I think I've meant to be going to one with you at some point. Um, uh, I've been good. to, I've been, see, the thing is, I've been to hardcore raves. Yeah, which are technically class as concerts, but I've been at far too many of them even count. But in general, actual artists, I've been to three. And that's that's a three pink Coldplay and Molly Most. What were the years roughly of each? Like, okay, now nah, what age were you for each roughly? So pink was when I was switching for like high, going into high school. So it was like primary six or seven. Okay. Roughly. Um, Coldplay was when I was in high school. Um, and Ollie Mills was when my sister was nine, ten. Probably roughly about right, ten years ago he was relevant. Mm, mm-hmm. Actually, is that a bit too late? Is that a bit too early, rather? Roughly there. It was like... That's it was trust you with ages. <laughs> I was like, maybe, oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> it was like maybe a year or a year after two or a year or two years after he was on the next fat turn, he was like big. Who was um who was his um what do you call it backup or who was his like you know warm up as such? No idea. Because mm-hmm. I knew he had a big song with Rizzle Kicks after they came out of um, them, so I would have expected them to be on He the sang the whole night. Just him. Just him. He had obviously had his band and whatnot. He had a back. He had a back. He had backup singers for one of his songs. They done like a. They harmonised during that. Yeah. But there was no no Rizzo kicks or no other big names there. Um, there was people singing like prior to him coming on stage, but like it wasn't nothing like that everybody watched or that. Where were each of the sponsors? Um, no idea where Pink was. Uh, Coldplay was in the Hydro and no aye the Hydro when did you say you seen Coldplay? just maybe first or second year of high school maybe second year of high school I think um, and Ollie Mills was also in the Hydro was is the, the Hydro open by it that early? aye so is it, is it the, AC, the SECC isn't it? the one next to it ah right okay I, I, thought, I thought it was called the SSC Hydro. Right, well, are so, you talking about the one that looks like an armadillo? Uh, or are you talking about the, uh, the one? one? I, I don't know. There was a one after water. I know that much. Uh, is it the big one or the small building? Like the new one where, like, they found. No, I, I, I've ne- well, no, we never ever. So Ollie Mills was in a big one, but the Coldplay was in a weird building. But it was, it was like. Aye. The weird one. See, I know Jamie hasn't been to many concerts, if any, so this could be true. What are you thinking? I'm thinking. I'm not going to say what I'm thinking. I've got, a, I've got an ace up my sleeve. Of course. we will try and get the win here. Shocking. Not making this entertaining. No, I know, I know. It's, it's purely... If you've watched this, if you've watched this far, you're obviously, you know, you know this is a game though. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I don't care. I've got a chance to win. I'm like you. 
Um, I actually don't know, to be fair. Like, you're good at You're actually pretty good at lying, which I didn't know until tonight, which makes me a bit worried. <laughs> uh, do you think he was sick that time you wanted to do the podcast? <laughs> um, fuck it, I'll say true because I know you've definitely not been right. to many if any and there might be a chance it's true so I'm definitely just going to go the opposite of Liam because it's my only chance that was my ace <laughs> 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 was that? the ace is nothing what's the scores? So, it's, uh, so me and Dylan are on three you're on four so if I go for if I go for the same if, as him I carry one yeah right so what are you going with? I'm going for true. Right, Some okay. false. Ah, it's false. Thank you, guys. You never been to. You never been to. Him. Never been to a concert. See, I, I couldn't remember if you say you've never been to one or. Been to rave concerts if that counts, but. Like, nah, like I would say it's like the same sort of. It's not that same vibe. I mean, you've never experienced. Ah, exactly. <laughs> concerts are fun. All right. All right. Um. Go and then don't end it all. No, but you could you could eat quite surely. <sighs> no, the idea is now that you could win. Like me and you're drawn right now. I just need to bet you. Yeah, and basically, if you get us right, Jamie, you win. If not, it's uh, what's a wee dog win. A wee Gordon, he gives a wave. Gordon. That's not even God. That's, that's Gordon. That's we <laughs> Waving his tail. All right. Ah, uh, oh, Jesus. All right. I was interviewed on BBC News about gang culture in Glasgow. How long ago? Same when I was in it's first year of high school. It was right before I left school. Moved yeah, school. the footage of this anyway. His lies are dumb, bro. Yes. Wait, the... Jamaica? <laughs> did, did you just say you've got the footage? I, I could get you the footage. How fast? Is it all like VHS or do you actually have it? I like... could get you the footage. That's all I'm going to say. Nah, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. <laughs> So what, I you're on, it. I you're on six it. o'clock news, Jackie Bird introduced it and you started talking. <laughs> Jackie Bird. I was on BBC News. Yes. So wait, BBC News, not BBC Scotland. I don't know. I, I don't watch the news. Oh, it's from bold. It's from bold. Was it, was it Scottish news or was it fucking every news? Scotland, I believe. How old were you? It's the first year of high school. 12, 13. So was it before you went in high school? Have you it? Got no, no, it was, it was, it was like I was in high school at this point. I'd been there for a few months, and then I'd moved school. I should know to me. So why did they interview you? Because I was built different. <laughs> <laughs> because, <laughs> because I'd uh, I'd done a speech in front of Parliament about gang culture already. Fuck off, man! I'm not believing this. <laughs> When did you do this speech in front of Parliament? When I was in primary seven. What, just you? No one else? Nope. I had a few people with me. Um, when, like, Name we... them. So from my <laughs> class... Nah, he's from... fumbled. He's fumbled. It's <laughs> right. done it. Right. Go on. Name right, from, name my, name. from my class, I know <laughs> Madison, Ellie. And that was it. No, convenient, eh? Just there, was other, there was other people there for different... James Madison, Harvey Elliott, eh? That's two of them. <laughs> aye. Aye. No bother. Um, so when you done this speech in front of Parliament, what, Scottish Parliament, yeah? Yeah. But, like, and the, see how in George Square, that building's straight there? The no, um, Holyrood. Or Holyrood. No, out of, outside of George Square, no. <laughs> Holyrood. <coughs> um... I can't remember the name of the building. I'm quite going to find the name of the building. We, we've somehow managed to make him go deeper into our second line instead of the first. Uh, so, like, no, so what? So the BBC fucking senior City, talking... Glasgow City Chambers. Glasgow, Glasgow City Chambers. I don't right, know okay. Said. So the BBC somehow seen you and your fucking wee diddies gain an interview. Like <laughs> fucking to you and Alex, Madison and I. <laughs> to, to fucking Alex Salmon, and they thought, right, don't no, no. we need to it was to, It was to very low down people. Like, don't think this was like something special. So, so how long were you on the TV for? Uh, probably say by myself. Oh, it's a good 30 seconds. 
bullshit. It was a full on, full Absolute on. bullshit. There is no way live on TV they would give a way. It was never live. It was time. never live. It was never live. No, uh, no, I'm telling you right now, right? We also had a similar thing happen where that actually, where someone came to our school to do interviews and they chatted them for like half an hour and each kid got about six seconds on TV. And do you know why? Because kids are fucking useless on TV. I mean, he's both different, mate. <laughs> if this is somehow <laughs> fucking true as well, nah, 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 I think about it. Like, 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 like. No, it can't. It has to be bullshit. Surely, <sighs> fucking Chad Parliament, Alex Salmon, James Madison, Harley Outlet, <laughs> Jamaica. It's all bullshit. Wait, Liam, what you got, man? It's bullshit. Lie. It has right. to be. Surely, I know. I know it's true. <laughs> Who would you like it to be? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> uh, let's find me. Easy peasy, doing all the grannies, but where is it? Oh, there you go. All right. Is this on YouTube? <laughs> Look, we're reporting live BBC Scotland. What is that? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's no oh. fucking thirty seconds. That was my fucking. Two no, seconds. I, I skipped to it. Like, I skipped to it. Wait, 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 Ah, he believes me. Uh, I, 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 I would have, based on the fact that... You knew... I didn't know if you knew I went on the news about it. I've seen that video many a time. But I would have believed... I show off. I would, have believed, it I, show off. I would have believed it on the basis he said that he'd done a speech outside Chambers. Yeah, so yeah, I, I would have believed that part. I wouldn't have you know, I, did, I, I didn't... See how when I say speech, I'm being loose with the word speech. I went out every, It was a speech, we all had a presentation, but I just went out and done a poem. <laughs> Yes, does that mean I won? That does mean on the inaugural, would I lie to you? It does mean indeed that Jabba. That, thank, God, with, thank God it's with I lie to you and this person with the least points wins, so well done. <laughs> Easy peasy. Right. I, I could find that if you know, there's a documentary made about the actual thing that I went to Parliament with. After, um, after tonight, Don, I don't want to see you till Chris, then Chris was talking. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking close. Uh, uh, that, that, that is quality. I know, it's, it's so good. Liam, you, you've, just, you've just been absolutely outsmarted. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. Like, I mean, to be fair, Don, I didn't expect you to come with this high level, so I do appreciate it. Jamaican man still bullshit though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's the thing actually, right? You need to get that test done and when you come back for the Christmas special, you need to have the answers right. for Like, don't even tell Jamie. I want it to be a reveal on the Christmas podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, there I'm. Wait, wait, here I'm. It's still showing off. This is a documentary. This is a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> that is class. <laughs> and, uh, so you know I'm just famous at this point but, you know there's one like in this YouTube video and look at this it's me yeah. <laughs> it's got right. fucking 8 years ago oh, it's, it's so uh, good I, I tell you what though this did go a lot better than I expected <laughs> I thought this was going to be a good <laughs> car crash and in some ways it was but it was a good car crash nah, I, you, honestly you can never get the two best people to come on and talk shit <laughs> Thing, but <laughs> and tell bullshit story. <laughs> it was always going to be like that, though. It was always going to be there was going to be a story where, like, it was true and you just didn't believe it. Like, uh, like you met, have you got your season ticket? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Jamaican cunt. Do you know what? Though? That is a good. That's a good proof. You know that <laughs> no matter because I mean we told three each and the most someone got was five correct. I mean. Mm-hmm. It does sort of show that we got we know. got a lot. Of, we did find out some stuff. Yeah, no, yeah, we've done but, well. Like, I think well you, you and Jamie each get a point for knowing something about each other, and Jamie got a point about knowing something about me, and I got no points off him. So I'd say I'm due two or three points to choose new it straight away. So <laughs> technically, yeah. I would have won. Oh, I sense and a sore loser here. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's the thing fine. is, you did know. You did know I had a season ticket since I was that age. I know you had a season ticket if you were that age. Doesn't mean he gave you it. On the road, saying, well, you're right. Right. Fuck off. You're right, there's our season ticket. Well, <laughs> but before we end this, is there anything else you just want to add? 
I think that's it. Have a nice. Delicious, mate. Yeah, yeah. And on that note, then I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I've been Liam White. I've been Jim Allen. I've been the third host. I'll be back again soon. See you at Christmas and we'll catch us later. <laughs> Goodbye. We're down the football and current events. Sitting and chatting with the very best guests. We're two Scottish boys and we're loving that. So if you like witty banter, check the former number one podcast on iTunes. Sitting and chatting.